Thomas Robert Malthus was born 250 years ago in 1766. He wrote the most famous book on population ever written or ever likely to be, and it was called The Essay on the Principle of Population. I'm Professor Alison Bashford, a Fellow of Jesus College, Cambridge. I'm fascinated by Malthus. With my colleague Joyce Chaplin at Harvard University, we've written a book that we think completely rereads the famous essay on the principle of population. In our book, we explore how Malthus engaged with and wrote about these new worlds, how central they were to his thought. We look at the 17th and 18th century books that Malthus himself used to find out about these new worlds. And by doing that, we hope to give a fresh look at the man himself. Malthus was a fellow and a student of Jesus College, and he borrowed books from and researched in this beautiful library, the old library. In the essay on the principle of population, which was very controversial when it was first published at the end of the 18th century and right at the beginning of the 19th century, Malthus argued that there would always be some people in poverty because of oscillating, changing availability of food. However, it's also the case that Malthus tried quite hard to argue ways in which that poverty could be ameliorated. For many years, Malthus's essay on the principle of population has been analysed very closely in a British Euro and European domestic context. But in fact, Malthus's essay was, was vastly more expansive. He wrote about India, about China, about Tibet, about North and South America, about Aboriginal people in Van Diemen's Land and New South Wales, and about Pacific Islanders. It's a much larger global story. And so this scourge of the English poor, in fact, ends up having another persona. On occasion, Malthus was defender of native peoples. In the book I've written with Joyce Chaplin, we explore what we call the new worlds of Thomas Robert Malthus. Malthus drew a lot of his information about these far corners of the earth and people who were strange to him from travel accounts from the 17th and 18th century. He drew inspiration, for example, from Benjamin Franklin on America and especially from James Cook's travel writings, the extraordinary voyages across the Pacific Ocean. We know that Malthus read these books and these large number of travel accounts because they're cited in his essay. And some of those very books are here in the old library. And from these travel accounts, he discerned all kinds of elements that were critical to him about population, fertility, mortality, uh, eating patterns, resource production in far corners of the earth. This book is the Malthus family's own copy of Benjamin Franklin's essays from 1751, the very book that Malthus himself was inspired by. In 1751, Franklin had estimated that the colonial population in North America doubled every 20 years. Malthus would derive his principal population from this statement about the geometric increase of colonial people, doubling in a certain number of decades. And that inspired Malthus to think carefully about the effect of population growth and decline in different environments. What Malthus wrote actually was a world history, a global history of other hemispheres, other continents, people all over the world, and that's how we should understand the essay on the principle of population.